Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm excited to be here today to share with you a finish. I actually finished something this month so I'm super excited. So many of you know that I was working on my Bubble Fairies by Randall Spangler from Diamond Art Club. This is the, well not now, but was the oldest unfinished kit in my stash. It is now complete. So let me show it to you. Here it is. It is so adorable. So I started at the bottom, the little cookies here and the little bath towel and all of the bubbles, which funnily enough, kind of remind me of grapes, the way they're kind of round and stacked. They just look like kind of grapes flowing over the sides, but bubbles. And then the cute little draggling here, kind of relaxing with the pillow and the bathtub. And then in the background, you've got these big curtains with, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a tent or a window or whatever. And then you've got this like fairy castle in the background. You've got this large fairy here. And then you've got a couple of fairies inside the bubbles and just super cute. This one was adorable. I can't believe I waited this long to finish it. I'm gonna take some B-roll so you guys can kind of see up close what it looks like while I continue to talk. It was a nice mix of multi-placing and confetti. So lots of sections in the curtains where you could do some nice multi-placing, sections of the draggling where you could do some nice multi-placing, but also lots of confetti, the scales of the dragon, the leaves, the bubbles, but a nice mix and just lots of fun colors. I love the pinks in here in the towel and the pillow, the fairy, and then you've got these big purple curtains. And I just think it turned out super cute. It came with two ABs and I considered adding in some additional ones, but I just ended up not doing that. Mostly because I was so behind working on this one and I just wanted to get it finished. So you've got some white ABs here on the toes. And then of course, some, some of the bubbles here and there, a couple right here on the snout and in the eye. And then there was a very light purple AB. So lots of the bubbles and things have that light purple, the little fairy dust sprinkling here from the fairy up in the sky is that light purple. And of course in her wings, some of both of those ABs. Now I didn't run out of any particular colors, although I got kind of close on some of them, like some of the purples for the curtains, I was afraid that I would run out, but I had plenty. I didn't run out of anything, so that's good. I did, however, have quite a bit of trash, which this is an older kit, so maybe that's expected, but dark purples, dark greens, but I mean, there was a mix of things. I, I don't think there was a color I had that didn't have some kind of trash in it. This is around 70, 55 by 70, so quite a bit of trash. But again, it is an older kit, and I know that they've made updates to how they do their drills. Although I will say, this kit, for some reason, this canvas seems heavier than usual for its size. I'm not quite sure why that is, but it just feels heavier than other kits. I don't know if there's a different formulation in the drills or what lately, but anyway. So yeah, just loads of fun. I love doing the little draglings because of the confetti here and their little scales and everything. And they're just so adorable. This face is just adorable. It took me about, I think, 48 hours all told. So really didn't take that long to do. Just me trying to fit in other various projects at the same time, trying to get it done. But lots of fun. Now it's finished. Now I have a new oldest kit, which also happens to be a Spangler. So I'll be working on that next. So just to give you guys a little overview of what the diamond painting kit looks like up close. Like I said, a, a nice mix of multi-placing and confetti. I mean, even in the curtains, there's a little bit of confetti, but you get some nice multi-placing with the various colors and everything. The little fairy was super cute to do. I love all the little bubbles. And then of course you get this cute little 
like church, castle in the background, the little window here, more bubbles, another curtain on this side with the little tassels, and then of course the draggling here with its cute little face and the pillow that it's reclining on, all the bubbles, the towels, and for those of you who think that everything is perfect, it isn't. You can see here all kinds of not exactly perfectly straight drills. But you know, once you zoom out, you don't see it. So that's why I always tell everybody not to worry about your drills being perfect because you're really not gonna be able to tell. So I completed this one for the Stoke Your Dragonfire event. I didn't actually enter and do any of the prizes or anything. I had intended to do that this year and what I found is I just it's too much social media for me to keep track of with everything else I have going on so I'm just gonna go back to doing what I was doing before and that is just kind of trying to pick up events as I can to kind of DP along even though I'm not actively participating in the event hopefully that gives some events some traction maybe that you guys haven't seen before I know lots of you introduced me to events that I haven't heard about so that's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.